Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I uploaded my last video. My trip to Japan started with taking the Nankai Rapid Express train to the heart of Osaka Namba. It's a more comfortable alternative compared to regular train since all seats are reserved. My affection for ramen never decreased. Ichiran is definitely one of my favorites. Thin noodles in a savory thick broth is perfect for the cold weather. Though Dombori is lively even late at night. As one of the main tourist points, you can find tons of drug stores here, where some of them are open for 24 7. A night stroll along the small alleyways and having a beer at a local isakaya is also a nice thing to do. Another thing you have to experience is the conveyor belt sushi, where you can devour as much as you want for an affordable price. We decided to have a breakfast at Kuromo, which is a market where you can try loads of different food like grilled stuffs, sushi, Japanese traditional desserts, as long as you have money in your hand. From Osaka, you can easily get access to neighboring cities such as Wakayama, which takes roughly 40 minutes with a train. Four different themed trains are operated between Wakayama and Kishi. The round trip between Wakayama and Kishi is 800 yen. You can also purchase the one-day pass to get unlimited use of the Kishigawa line within the same day for 780 yen. On our way to Kishi, we hopped on the Umeboshi Densha. The design of the train is inspired by Ume, which means plums in Japanese. Wakayama is known to be the largest producer of Ume in Japan. I was amazed by how the plum concept was depicted so in details, even the handle is plum shaped. As we made our way to Kishi, we were welcomed by the station master Nitama, also known as Tamajan, the second generation. You can shop for some souvenirs before you leave the station. We headed back to Wakayama. It's time we're so lucky to get on the cutest train in the world ever, Tamadensha. If you want to ride all the four different themed trains, check the schedule what the individual departure time is from each station. You can switch train by hopping off and on again.
The following three minutes contains footage I took of these adorable creatures, so enjoy! The most famous thing to do in Nara is to visit the deers at Narakoin. The deer here are semi-wild and you can see them freely roaming through the park. It's especially nice to be here during autumn, as the fall colors making this place more beautiful. You can buy the Shika Senbei to feed them. This rice crackers is safe for the deers to consume, and is sold around the park. They know the trick how to get their favorite snacks. Nara has much more to see and do beyond beers. For example, Higashimuki Shotengai, a shopping arcade where you can find tons of great stores and restaurants here. We had a lunch here, again, Teishoku, I love Teishoku. And our stomach still had place for more food. So we headed further and got a menchi katsu and a red bean mochi. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll try harder to add it faster. I just need time. Uh, yeah, hopefully to see you in the next one. So stay tuned. Bye.